Hello everyone. Ramanujan entrance exam, day seven, model questions. Which scientist was born on Pi Day? Albert Einstein. Which scientist was born on Pi Day? Albert Einstein. Who discovered the symbol of infinity? Many people think that the symbol of infinity was discovered by uh, Ramanujan, but it is not correct. John Wallis. Who discovered the symbol of infinity? John Wallis. Who said number rose to the universe? Who said number rose to the universe? Pythagoras. In which year Ramanujan National Park opened? 2017. In which year Ramanujan National Park opened? 2017. Which day is celebrated the National Mathematics Day in India? 22nd December. Which day is celebrated as the National Mathematics Day in India? 22nd December. What is the value of pi? 3.14159. So it is also written as 22 by 7. The value of pi is 3.14159. Who discovered the value of pi? So the answer is Euclid. Who discovered the value of pi is Euclid. Who declared Srinivasa Ramanujan birthday as mathematics day? Manmohan Singh. Who declared Srinivasa Ramanujan birthday as national mathematics day? Manmohan Singh. The scores of 19 students average 80. If the score of 20th student is counted, the average score is 82. What is the score of the last student? Okay. There are 19 students. 19 students in a row. What is the average score? So, if you have 20th student, the average is 82. So, if you have 20th student, the average is 82. I think 20th student to score. See, first, the average. The average is of 19 students. What is the average formula? What is the average formula? The average is equal to sum by sum of sum of marks by sum of score by number of items. Number of items. Okay. So here how many students are there? Number uh, 19 students are there. So number of items are 19. So the average of 19 students. The average of 19 students. The average of 19 students, how much? And the average of 19 students is 80. Okay. Sum of score. Okay. I don't know sum of score. Sum of score by number of items. How many items are there? 19. So 80 into 19 equals to sum of sum of Yantaman students. The sum of the how many students? 19 students. Sum of 19 students. 19 students score. So see 0 by 0. 8 times the 72. 8 times the 72. Okay. 7. 8 1 is 8. 8 plus 7 is 15. So, sum of 19 students, 19 students score. Sum of 19 students score at the student level 1520. If you student matches it. Okay, if you have another student, say you have 20 students here. Okay, same. If one more student is added. If one more student yeah. So now how many total number of students? Total number of students equals to 10. Oh, sorry, 20. Total number of students is 20. Now find the average again. The average is equals to the average is equals to sum of sum of items. So sum of scores by sum of scores by number of items. So the average is equals to how much? The average is equals to 20, uh, 82. The average is 82. So how many students score this one? 82. 20 students score. So sum of sum of 20 students score. Sum of 20 students score by number of items. How many students are there? 20 students. 82. 20 transpose reduction multiply with 20. So equals to sum of sum of 20 students, sum of 20 students score. So 0 to 2 is 4, 2 is 16. So this is sum of 
20 students score sum of 20 students score now i want 20 students score sum of 90 students score how much 1520 sum of 20 students score is 1640 okay so uh, the score of the last student the score of the last student okay sum of the 20 students how much 1000 640 sum of the 19 uh, subtract sum of the 90 students score 1520 so 0 minus 0 0 4 minus 2 4 minus 2 2 6 minus 5 1 so the score of the last student is 120 120 is the first option lcm of two numbers is 504 which cannot be SCF? LCM is given. What is the LCM? Yes, least common multiple. LCM is nothing but least common multiple is 504. Which cannot be SCF? In the SCF, half the power is charge seven. So SCF only the LCM no such thing a factor angle. Factor angle is the number of number of number of division just the zero is the that is factor angle. So see the first one option A. So 10 divided by uh, 504 divided by 10. So 10 5 is 50. So 4 remainder take 0. Okay. So 4 is the remainder. So this is not factor because remainder is 4. Next option B. 18 504 divided by 18. 18 ones are 18. 18 two are 36. So 10 minus 6 is 4. 1. 144. 18 3 is 18 4 is 18 5 is 19. 18 6 is 18 7 is 18 8 is 18. 144. So 144. So it is divisible by it is divisible by maybe a chance. Okay, 18 is a uh, HCF maybe a chance. So HCF for 18 number chance. Okay, next 36. 36 to change. 36. 36. 36. So 10 minus 6 is 4. Uh, here 1 is there. So 4. Uh, 36 4 is 144. So remainder zero. So 36 for the SCF order is chance. Next option B check change 42. 504. 42 ones are 42. 8. 50 minus 42 is 8. 4. 42 2 is 84. So 12 uh, 42 for the SCF order chance because remainder is zero. Okay, exactly reduce load. But 10 and the exact reduce load. So it is SCF which cannot be SCF. It is SCF order is chance. So the answer is 10. If yesterday had been Wednesday's this tomorrow and tomorrow is Sunday session, what day would today be? Yesterday had Wednesday's this tomorrow. See, yesterday, see the uh, writing part, yesterday, today, yesterday, today, tomorrow, yesterday's today, tomorrow. See the three. Uh, days yesterday, yesterday have been wetness days tomorrow. Wetness days tomorrow means wetness day after what? Wetness day after day is Thursday. So yesterday is Thursday. Yesterday is Thursday. Yesterday is Thursday. Next. And tomorrow is Sunday's yesterday. Tomorrow. Tomorrow is Sunday's yesterday. Sunday Mundurodu. Sunday Mundur. Yesterday and Nina. Nina. Sunday Mundur. Sunday and Nemo means Saturday. Now see what day would today be. Erosion mm -hmm. Thursday, Saturday. Between what day? Yesterday, Thursday. Tomorrow, Saturday. What is today? Friday. So the answer is so the answer is Friday. Which option is there? Is there? So option B. What is the difference between the sum of third multiple of 18 and the sixth multiple of 12? And sum of factors of 12. Okay, here two conditions are there. Difference between sum of third multiple of 18 and 6 multiple of 12 and sum of factors of 12. Okay, first find this one. Sum of third multiple of 18 and 6 multiple of 12. Okay. Third multiple of 18. See the solution. See the solution. Third multiple of 18. 
Or multiple of 18 equals to 3 into 18. 3 into 18 how much? 3, 18, 3 is 54. 18, 3 is 54. Next. And the sixth multiple of what? Six multiple of twelve. That is six into twelve. Six twelve is a seventy. Six twelve is a seventy. Next, what is the next sum? Sum. So sum equals to sum equals to fifty four plus seventy. That is two plus four is six. Two plus four is six. Seven plus five is twelve. One hundred and twenty six. Okay. So first condition over. Next, sum of factors of twelve. Okay. See the first factors of 12. Factors of 12. What is the factor? A number which is like uh, factors of 24. What is factor? A number which is exactly divisible by another number is called the factor. So 1. 1. Okay. Next still 2. 12 times. 124 times 2 12 times. Next 3. Yes, 3. 8. Next 4. 4 6 times. Next 5 is not possible. 6. 6. Next 8. 8. Next 2. Uh, next to 12, 12, next to 20, well, these are the factors. So, what is the sum? Sum equals to 1 plus, 2 plus, 3 plus, 4 plus, 6 plus, 8 plus, 12 plus, 24. Okay. Now, add these all numbers. So, 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 plus 8 is, 6 plus 8 is 14. 6 plus 8 is 14. 14 plus 6 is 20. 24, 27, 27 plus 2 is 37 plus 2 is 29, 30. So 0, 3. Okay. 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 plus 1 is 6. 5 plus 1 is 6. Okay. So 60. Now, next condition. What is the difference? Now, these two differences. Sum of these two numbers difference. So difference equals to Difference equals to 120 minus 126 minus 126 minus 60. So 126 6 minus 0 is 6. 12 minus 6 is 6. So the answer is the correct answer is 66. So the option A. How many sides does a regular polygon have? Each of its each interior angle is 165 degrees. Okay. First. Polygon. Polygon means what? A closed figure. A simple closed figure having line segments. A simple closed figure having line segments is called polygon. Regular means all line segments are equal. Then it is called the regular polygon. Okay. So each interior angle is 165. So how many sides are there? Okay. So let the number of sides equals to say m. So number of how many sides? So I don't know the sides. So number of sides. That the number of sides equals to n. So the formula to find each uh, to find the number of sides is c. Sum of not sum of each interior angle in a polygon. Each interior angle is given that is 165. Okay, each interior angle is 165. Then the formula is n minus 2 into 180 by n equals to 165. This is the each interior angle. Each interior, each interior angle formula n minus 2 into 180 by n. Here n is the number of sides. n minus 2 into 180 equals to 165. n equals to 180 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 equals to so 180n, 165 and transpose fraction minus 165 equals to 360. So 180n minus 165. So maybe 15n. 15n equals to 360. N equals to 360 by 50. So how many times? So 50, 360. 52 is a 36 0. 54 is a 60. So answer is 24. Therefore, number of sides are 24. Number of sides are 24. So the option is D. Among a group of children, 2 by 3 of a pi was shared 
each to each child received one by twelve of the pi. How much children were there in the group? Okay. So among the group, there are a, uh, there are some group of children are there. Okay, two by three pi was there. Okay. So here total number of students. Now we will find total number of students. So how much pi was there? Two by three. Over. Okay. How much pi was there means two by three. Uh, each student uh, received how much uh, uh, part of pi? So one by twelve. So the number of students are. Two uh, two by three over one by twelve. Okay, that equals to two by three. Two by three. So so one by twelve divided by one by twelve converted into multiplication. So reciprocal of one by twelve is nothing but twelve by twelve. So three one the three three four the twelve. So two into four by one into one. Two four the eight one one the one. Eight by one is eight. Therefore the number of students are eight. So answer is C.